Hello, and welcome back, most illustrious members of The Detail. I'm your host, D, also known as MTF Doom on Marvel Snap, and today we're going to go over a deck that I kind of said I was done talking about, although they had an OTA patch that fundamentally changed enough about it that I want to talk about it. Um, there's going to be a little reflection, and I apologize, a little bit of bloviating even, on the the idea of hitting infinite with one's own deck a deck of your own design and how that has kind of worked as a milestone for me as a content creator there's of course there's links down below to the different uh, if you just want to watch the deck tech or you just want to watch the gameplay of course feel free to skip to those but um, we're gonna get into it and i hope that you enjoy <laughs> course as always um, i appreciate anyone who watches i appreciate anyone who likes comments subscribes any any anything you know I, I i really do appreciate it i love seeing the little number increment i feel like i'm not supposed to acknowledge this but i i do prefer when my videos do well i i like when my videos do well and i feel like you're not supposed to like say that like oh i just do it for the fun i do do it for the fun but I like knowing that other people are having fun doing, like, watching the videos that I find fun to make, right? Like, I think that's reasonable, but I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm not supposed to say that. So, um, there was an OTA patch today. Uh, by the time this comes out, it might have been yesterday. They buffed Forge, um, Crystal, and Shanna. Shanna. The only one we care about for what we're doing is Forge. They, they buffed Forge, like more than I I mentioned Forge recently in a video about cards that needed buffs that like were close to being playable I mentioned that Forge was a used to be a 2-1 that your next card got plus 2 power they and my my thought was well just make him a 2-2 <laughs> like you know like what you did with uh, Collector right Collector was a 2-1 now he's a 2-2 he sees way more play as a 2-2 they they did the better buff they made Forge a 2-1 that gives your next card plus 3 power. <laughs> and, like, I already hit infinite with this deck pre-buff. I think this deck, based on the stats, which I'm going to put on the screen right now, um, based on the stats, this isn't the best deck you can be playing, but, like, having already hit infinite with it, and, and just having more power behind it, I, I don't know, I think it's a really good deck. It's really fucking fun, is the thing. So, we're going to get into the deck. OTA improved. So, if you watched Brews Day of this week, this was the this was one of the Dakin decks. We've actually dropped Dakin. We found that while Dakin had the ability to get really, really big, um, it it's not something we need. <laughs> like, 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 we don't need one giant threat. We have a couple different threats. We have a couple interesting play patterns. And we didn't really find we needed Dakin. So by dropping him, we were also able to drop Killmonger. While we could still play Killmonger because we have no one costs and it's just a tech card, we get our choice of different techs. We've opted for armor. And we'll get to that in a second. Armor seems like a weird one, I understand. And Cosmo. And Co Cosmo's quite good. And I think everyone kind of understands why Cosmo's here. But um, armor could be Luke Cage could be Shang, maybe, your own Shang, and it could be, um, some people are playing Patriot, I think that's, I think that's neat, could be, uh, maybe Enchantress, but, um, the reason we went with armor is because while most of our, m most of our game plan is not soft to, uh, to being Shanged itself, it, one, works as a tech card against everyone trying to blow up their own stuff um i think in the most recent meta report both venom and carnage made it into the top 10 cards uh being played right now so armor is like tech for that and some amount of the time you are going to venom to reclaim the spots if you don't know the reason we play venom and uh and carnage ourselves is because we don't want to be playing a deck where everything has to go right in the right order. So, like, yes, if you play Forge on two and follow it with Brood on three and follow it with Absorbing Man on four, you're in a really good spot, especially if you have Cosmo to stop them Shadow Kinging all your stuff back down to base power. 
But like, what about all the games where that doesn't happen? Well, you know, if you just play a Sinister on two, he is himself a 2-4, with the functional downside being that he takes up two spots, right? So he's slightly overstatted. Same with Mysterio, right? Same with Brood, right? Brood is a 3-6, but it takes up three spots. So what you can do is you can use Carnage or, or Venom to narrow down. So you, okay, you play a Brood. It's just a vanilla Brood. It's a 3-6. But now three of your spots are taken up. Well, if you Carnage, you now have eight power there, but you've only taken up one spot. So it lets you reclaim your spots without actually losing any of your power. Now, it gets a little more wonky if you have hit some, like, you know, you played out a Koye and now your Sinisters are three threes. Well, Carnage gets a little more awkward. Uh, Venom stays the same, right? Venom's just good no matter what. Your, your Carnage can get a little wonky and, like, reduce your power sometimes. But you can also, like play carnage into the armor lane if it's late in the game and you just like you know you just need to play him out as like a two three he got like one buff somewhere from nikia or something um but he's also just good at cleaning up your setup pieces right your okoye and your forge are not useful once you've played them right and so carnage can can be used to like reclaim those spots um so the final thing is jeff uh, I think Jeff is pretty important to this deck. I mentioned this in the... Uh, I did a text post about this deck, kind of saying I didn't really intend to do another video. But I, I honestly, I kind of think the Forge change and the fact that we're playing tech instead of more win cons warrants me making this video. And I, I wanted to make it anyway for the thing I mentioned in the intro, um, which is that while, like I said in the intro, I don't want to necessarily be like gauging my success by how many views I'm getting because like I want to gauge my success based on how much fun I have doing this which is like a lot of fun but in in, in the same way in a very like similar fashion I don't want to gauge my success based on how often I hit infinite or what with what decks I hit infinite with but I will say it feels very different having played you know i played bounce to infinite twice i played the big hands deck to infinite but those none of those were of my design it feels like a landmark to have piloted a deck of strictly my own design i'm not saying no one else has ever played most of these cards together i'm saying it's not something that i even picked up from another content creator it's not something that like has been on the meta report consistently and i've just tweaked it this is something that like i don't i don't think people are playing the carnage venom clone deck i don't maybe they are but i don't see it so it it felt like a landmark to me even if it's kind of an unimportant one in a lot of ways and i just it's been a lot of fun i really appreciate anyone who's stuck with me all this time i i hope it's been really fun for you um we got some more cool stuff coming and we're going to jump into some gameplay, and I will see you at the outro. I hope you enjoy. All right. I mean, Throne Room, if we draw Venom, the fact that we have armor for Throne Room is pretty good. Wakanda, this can all be a little awkward, but I, I have some faith. We're probably just skipping this as well. Let's armor, let's armor the final lane. The other thing I, I think I forgot to mention in the intro is that while armor protects our stuff, it also can just make the opponent's plans really awkward. If they're a destroy deck, they're suddenly like, they're, they're not thrilled <laughs> about the prospect of not being able to destroy shit. Um, all right, so we're going to go brood over here, absorbing man into Nidvalir. Ooh, bitch. Okay. Go off. Absorbing man into Nid. Okay. Whatever you got going on, I am here for it. I wonder if this is a negative deck. I hear people are pretty hype on negative decks because of the crystal change. I'm, I too am ready. I'm ready for our negative overlords.
there's negative. Okay. I think Venom actually retains all the Broodling buffs. Like, he's going to be 12 plus 6. I'm pretty sure. No. Oh, Throne Room goes off first. Okay. In Nidvalir, he retains the buffs, which is like the weird part. Do we... We have Pryo. I think we might Iron Lad. To see if we hit Cosmo. To stop something happening here. Because I assume they do their real Iron Man on Nidvalir. And then they go to Mystique this one. We hit Cosmo. Alright, so Bass does nothing. There's Iron Man. They can no longer Mystique Limbo. We can actually make it so they can't uh, Mystique anywhere. And then... Like that? It's not impossible for them to win. It's not impossible. But let's see what they go for. Alright, so they could not Mystique. They could not Zola. They could have all of that. And... Oh! <gasps> no! Damn! Oh, we won the right side! What the fuck? <laughs> How is that null so big? Oh, it's just that it, it was the same... It was the same as the... Ve it, it was the same destroy as all the Venom. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. We have... We have outs to Death's Domain. In the form of Sinister and Brood, which we have both of. Oh, and Jeff. And now Armor. What am I saying? Um, let's start with Okoye. And let's even... Let's even just pitch her to Death's Domain. I'm fine with that. Save us some space. Huh. You think it's worth... How cute do we want to be? Because we can brood under Dark Dimension and then play Forge as our last card on turn 6. That's that's probably too cute. I feel like I've talked myself out of it. But now where do I throw Forge? Also into Death's Domain. Fuck it. We ball. Then we'll brood over here. Add 15 to the right. Good enough. And then we'll probably Sinister plus Cosmo Center. I, I have this sneaking suspicion that they're doing stuff I don't like. Oh no, we'll Sinister left. Ooh. Now that'll be a brood copy. As long as... Uh, as long as all we do is play Cosmo Center? Is that enough? That might even be enough. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm comfortable with this. Like, we're adding 22 to the center. Can they sneak something into Death's Domain? Because otherwise that's going to be a tie. And I think we'll win tiebreakers off this. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're set. Because they're going to try to add a bunch of cards to our deck. And we're going to say, no, thank you. No, I'd, I'd prefer you didn't do that, actually. No, I'm all set. Don't shang me either, bro. Hell yeah. All right. We had nothing to do on one anyway. See if I give a heck or shit. I hope they play something. 
I hope more than anything that they can't resist. They maybe they have a killmonger in hand, and they're like, "Oh, I'll just I'll I'll play something now." Oh, <gasps> oh my f shit and folk. That is a game-winning play. Thank you, thank you. This, this may, it, oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Tink! Fantastic. Absolutely fucking wunderbar, I tell ye. I mean, it doesn't even matter anymore. We could do, we could do whatever the fuck we want. Sure. Totally fine. This will be another copy of Forge, so it'll give the next thing plus three. It's fine. It's fine. Um, like that? I think like that's good. Or it's unlike because we want them to have prio for the dark dimension. Yeah, we're set. We are goody. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, and I guess we can put Deadpool here. Because it'll come up after Killmonger. Okay. Oh, I was overthinking it. Oh, <laughs> was I ever overthinking it. Alright, come on, Sakar. Don't do this to me, Sakar. Okoye. Not Venom. That would be a bad choice, Sakar. Would be Venom. That's not what we would want if we had an option. Alright, well... We make the best of it, right? We'll start with an Okoye. Get those buffs going. Alright, I think they think that Venom is more important to my game plan than it is. Which is good for us. Because Venom's not... Venom's not like a primary tool in our arsenal. But they, they think that it is a primary tool. Very, very foolish of them. To have any thoughts at all. Ooh. Um... I'm down to forge... And then next turn, we'll Sinister the right, plus Carnage the left. Because these are all, like, you know, not that impactful. So we Sinister there, we Carnage there. We're adding 12. That probably wins us. That li that probably wins us Asgard on its own. I like this set of plays. I like this set of plays quite a lot. Oh, no! Uh, seven, eight. Okay, we win. We win. We will add 12 to the right. <laughs> we'll add 12 to the right. Uh, and then we'll eat all these. <laughs> our opponent will lose. Fantastic. Our <laughs> uh, four cubes. <laughs> four cubes. Just like that. We love it. We love it. Okay. All right. I mean... We still don't have the Forge that we would like, or the Okoye, or the Nakia, and <laughs> we continue not having them. But, uh, you know, we got some tech cards. Let's see if our opponent... Is it the mirror? Is it the goddamn mirror? But our opponent just had a better start. I think it, I think it might be. I think it might be. Alright, um, we're ahead, so let's... Let's just Cosmo and see if we can fuck with their plans. We can't. Okay, so this is... I think this is, um, Binx's list. So 
So... Was Iron... Iron Lad. Let's see what we got. Alright, so we'll we'll take two two lads. What do they get? Nothing. Oh, an absorbing man, which has no effect. Cool. Um we can now Absorbing man. Now let's. Huh. Let's nick. Okay, okay. We're gonna nick him. We're gonna armor, right? And then, as silly as this sounds, we're going to sinister into the middle lane. And then absorbing man into the right lane. Are we going to do that? We might do that. Can I add three to the left without it being a very bad idea? <laughs> so we need to play something with six over there. I think they have a hard time adding that much power to the left because they can't like their patron I think this is enough I kind of think this is enough Yeah, because no matter where the clone is, we win. Oh my god. We got him. We got him! Hell yeah. Mojo World, in general, probably pretty good for us. We can be pretty sneaky about it, you know? So... I think the option to be sneaky has left the building. Because we're probably priced into just going Brood and then Absorbing Man. Ooh. That is pretty good for us. I think. Eh. Do I want to... Yeah, I'm fine with that. What the fuck? Alright, I mean... That's gotta just win it for... It's gotta win it for us, right? We just... We can even... We'll... So we'll brood... Here, yeah, we'll brood here. And then we'll Absorbing Man Center for 18. So we're going to be ahead because of uh, the Mojo World. Oh, let's snap. Let's snap. They're going to have a really hard time adding two more cards underneath a uh, an Ebony Maw. And we're going to be able to add 18 to the center. <laughs> Oh. So there's a world. Is it this world? Where we actually Cosmo the center instead? Because the out that they have would be Shuri into, like, Red Skull. But they don't have it. There's Red Skull. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, they can add 14 to the center 
off of uh, what's his name? Tasky boy. One tasky boy. We can also just have them say no. You can add zero to the center and you can fucking like it. Uh, and then we can armor over there just in case of anything else going hilariously wrong. So, I will accept you having a zero power taskmaster. Thank you. And a vibranium. Very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's see if we can mess up some... So a lot of people have stuff that, like... They want destroyed. So let's see if we can mess up that game plan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I would love a... Uh... Wow. We can... We can Negasonic. <laughs> we can Negasonic here. And it won't blow up, right? Yeah, cool. It's just a 3-5. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> I don't even know if that was good, but it was really fucking funny. Also, while we have priority, I'm going to throw Forge in here <laughs> so they don't get a free destroy. <laughs> in case they try something funny, like destroying their own thing with Negasonic. <laughs> I'm, I think I might be trolling. I think I might, I think this might not be the best uh, use of all my cards at every point, but, but fuck it, <laughs> whatever. All right, um, we have Carnage, Brood, Nakia, and Venom. Whatever we play is getting plus three. I think I'm in on the Iron Lad. And we can follow it up with uh, Sinister and Absorbing Man next turn. All right. Oh, man. So that is... Four total destroys. Oh, what did I hit? Nakia. Okay. Nakia's a pretty good one. So... We add six there and 12 there. Is that enough? So we're ahead by three in the center with this play. We're ahead by like eight on the right. And we're ahead by three on the left. Yeah. All right. So there's the death. That was the big one. They only played two into the center. So we, we win center by one. And we win right by like what? Four? Something like that. Six. Okay. All right. The armor did it. The armor did it for us. And there's no getting around it. I almost threw the game trolling playing that Negasonic. <laughs> but I didn't, so it's fine. Thank you so much. Everyone who supports, everyone who continues to support, everyone who made it this far and probably liked and maybe even left a comment on the video. A special thank you to all of my Patreons and uh, just people who've donated time, money, or effort. Sometimes all three. They are as follows. The Tiny Ruby, A Frog in a Tent, Clips, Crayon Eater, Cole D, Polyhaze, Satorius, Demisi, KD, Distan Nelson, and Matt Backey. This channel wouldn't be possible without all of you. I appreciate you so much. I hope that that comes through. Um, I hope that you all have a great day, and I will see you all very soon.